Sometimes you get lucky and you just get it done straight away. Other times it will take you like 17 games before you can actually get one strategy done. Because of just the way the uh, the games go. Obviously the downside is I have to explain the strategy all over again because it's a new video. So all of the explaining I do in the last game is for now, Because it always ends up being a dud. Tell you what would be cool. Eh, it's not worth it though, actually. It's thinking about speed building the Blood Mage to do the expansion, but you're not going to have any lumber to put the uh, resources for an actual expansion. So it's pointless. Pointless. We'll just go standard. Standard affair. So, altar, barracks. I'll probably wait until the game starts to get going a little bit before I actually start explaining what the strategy even is, because again, you could just sort of like do all the explanation again and then the game's over. Someone might just leave, etc, etc. So it's kind of exhausting when you have to try keep trying to sort of explain everything and then you can't guarantee whether that's going to be the video that actually goes up. YouTube problems. Needless to say, I'm just going Blood Mage for the beginning. Let's go. B for the Blood Mage. We've got lots of trees, nice and close. Ready to work. Which is beautiful. That's lots of easy lumber. Just keep spamming out the peasants. You're going to need that lumber badly. A couple of footmen will do it, probably at the start. Not much more than that because otherwise you won't have the gold to get the tech as well whilst you're trying to get your expansion down. Depending on how much pressure you get whilst trying to take your expansion. If you get any pressure then, well, that's bad. Bloody mage. Ready for what do you need? Here we go. Here we go. Jobs done. Ready to work. Of course. On my way. Burning. Right. I am here. What is it? I am here. More. Bring him round. This battle bores me. Ready to work. Ah, Ready for action. Shall we play? Undo fire. You need. Do you see something? You need. There's some hurt on the big ones. Otherwise, the small ones. So the purple ones, or the the yellow ones. The, I mean, the orange ones don't actually do that much damage. Bring them back. Go for another juicy flame strike in a moment. That's looking good. The militia can finish that off most likely. I'm half tempted to just pick on the Ogre Magi just to get some mana back, but he's way too strong for me at the moment. I'm going to tech, so I have that going already. And we'll just go do this. I mean, we can get mana from this dude, and they don't do much damage. So you get your sort of like, your comeback. I'm going to take one militia over as well to build a tower in the future, in case there's pressure. More mana for me, please. Just have a little scout whilst you're out and about. Then we can take a whole healthy hunk of chunk of these, because I've got more than enough lumber. Let's try and do the next spot. Looks good. It's gonna hurt those footmen actually to get involved. See? Nice and easy. You can start building footmen again for now, just so you got an actual army to fight with. I'm going to take a few of these to go do the next spot, take a few of these injured ones, put them into there, to get ourselves level 3, boom, and you're good. Our allies base is under attack. 
Oh, on the flame strike. Pull you back. Go get yourself Hunka Chunka Lumber Mill. You guys can go back. If we can get our heal in a second. There comes the walls. Watch out. Oh, it's going to be a two for us, it just as that's about to finish. Classic. Classic! Mm -mm -mm. Okay, very lucky. Very lucky I am. Ooh, that's some good luck. Don't you just love it? The old 99.9999% My favourite Alright You want to play that game boys? Let's play that game Time to get my Tinker, Tier 2. So you guys can go back into there. If they're going to find me as the target, then we're going to have to be getting ourselves a lot of towers. Because that's the way the game's probably going to go down. Let's put you here. Let's get our Tinker. Let's go visit my friend who visited me. So you want to put the pressure on me? I'll put the pressure back on you. See how you like it. Oh, what's this? Is that an expansion? Hey, I wonder what would happen if you attack one. You're probably going to lose your one. Yeah, they're coming back. So I'm going to TP to that. We dealt with that. We're going to come and handle this. And I'm going to get loaded of towers. Don't you worry about it. You're going to go crazy Kwanzaa on the towers. So you guys will be far less in like uh, encouraged to come and get me. See how much you enjoy attacking my base when there's a million towers at it. Yeah, not so fun, is it? That's fine. I'll get him back in a moment. There's plenty more where that came from. Make them pay. I will. <laughs> I'm not have I'm not having it. I've played four versus four RT enough to be constantly getting focused all the time out of all the people. It's always my base that gets hit. Whether I'm on the left hand side, whether I'm on the right hand side, it don't matter where I'm spawned, I'm gonna be the one that gets attacked. So that's just the way it always goes. That's welcome to streaming. So I'm 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 bunkering down. I don't care about anything else. I'm bunkering down with a million towers until I feel like I'm not going to get attacked anymore. Then I can actually start playing the damn game. Someone else can take the hits. More lumber is required. Oh baby, you better believe it. I don't care about the Pullman, they're just fodder. I suppose I can save them a little bit if I really want to. Looks good. Come back. More lumber is required, you better believe it. There's going to be a lot of lumber required. That's the way this game is going to go. Right, here we are. Is everyone back? Everyone? Let's get rid of this. Let's take that. Let's drop that for the tinker as well. I'm all geared up. Get there, get that. Gonna take that. Over to there, over to there. One more for you. Back to there. Here to you. 
And Tinker always gets focused quite heavily, so we'll put a healing potion on him. Alright. Looking better. Let's go visit my friend once more. Oh! I gotta try to get in there before I flame strike. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm coming! Boom! I hope he doesn't fight too much out of the base defense that he has. Shit, I'm gonna hit all those units. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's get some more mana. Tech. And start to get the units we want. If they're being destroyed on the left right hand side, I can't do much more for you. Ah, man. Is this an arranged team again? It must be, because it's the same guys from last game. I think they're an arranged team, because they did the same thing last time. Do two on two. Consistently, like, over and over. And I can't obviously be there for everyone. So you're just going to have to hold up in that undead base as best as you can. And we'll make them suffer in the meantime. All systems go. I'm all geared up. Right, you're gonna need Blackie. Wow, Blacksmith. That sounds really bad the way I said that because I was trying to say two words at the same time. Whoops. Don't take that one out of context. I'm playing and playing at the same time. Alright, so pressure, pressure, pressure. Health pot. Boom, bada boom. Here we go. Get some mana back from someone. Stun. Yeah, I know. I apologize if I caught any offense that wasn't intended. I can't siphon any more mana. Right. Boom, boom, boom. And get some more mana. Just keep rocketing. Now they've got the pressure on the tinker. Please. I'm going to take the back on that one. I don't want to keep losing the tinker over and over. I'm getting sick of losing that Tinker, that second hero, like, every single time I play. Always dies and gets stuck at, like, level 1 for all eternity. Just permanently stuck at level 1. But he's level 2, which is a big improvement compared to where he normally is at. Another health potion. I am here, mortal. I can give him a nice chunky heal. Everyone's doing quite well. I'm gonna get myself those mortars. Right, pressure back over here. Let's go. On my way. Job done. Allies Job done. Is under siege. Job's done. All lumber is required. All systems go. Yeah. Come here. Job done. Job done. Almost level 5 in the blood moon, which is really bloody nice. Yes, me lord. You share what you got? For now. The engine's running. Do you see something? This will probably do it. I'm all geared up. The engine's running. Would you want to do it? Nah. Still no. Three 
research complete. Where do you want us? Isherado, evil is near. I am here. Our forces are under attack. System I am research complete. A Baranar. His brother. Oh, he's so close, but still no. Strike rockets combo. Combo combo. This is a bad spot to be Oh, that's really stubborn. <laughs> oh, you could not give me that at all, would you? You know I was trying to get that guy at the top there to just fill in the gap, but he wouldn't do it. It was like, absolutely not. Every other unit is going to move, but not the skeleton that can block in the one at the top. But I, I can't sort of move them around and push that one at the top as well at the same time. It's not going to happen. Right, anyway. This is a good opportunity to wait and see if anyone town portals. You kind of want someone to town portal in here. So I actually don't want to kill the main base necessarily. I want to make it look like I'm killing it. I mean, stop. Nah, there's no one's coming to help him. We've done quite a good job here, so... Basically, what I was going for there... ...is to uh, let someone else town portal in. So I can basically squish them with flame strike rockets. But nah. But you get the idea. So basically you got Mortis doing a bunch of AoE splash. You flame strike or you rocket first. You kind of do both at the same time and hope that they don't move out of it. Because then they get stunned and the flame strike does the majority of the damage within like first second to a second and a half after landing. That was a... yeah, that's... oh wow. They've still got a lot to kill over there. That was a bit of a tough one, though. Because I think they're in a ranged team. So we had to deal with quite a lot of pressure. Sort of coordinated pressure. GG, thanks for the boom boom boom. Boom boom. You're welcome. I got 2-0 on the mortars. I'm working on the free now. I think I'll just get rid of that footman in the group. Just kind of... An afterthought at this point. He's managed to survive that long. But we'll come over. Flame Strike's actually pretty good versus Mountain Giants. It's not the best, but it's something that helps you fight versus them. Alright, let's get ready to fight this because they're coming. So, I want them to come into this small position here. But they're not doing it. <laughs> come here. Come here, boy. Commit them into a fight. I'm all geared up. Rinse and repeat. I'm all geared up. I mean, more of mountain giants do have um, medium armor, so they take like extra damage from fragment shards. Kaboom. That's a lot of blowy up. See? I did a weird thing with the word again. Blowy up. That's a lot of blowing up. But somehow I went blowy up. Basically, just don't talk like I do. Otherwise, you're going to get in trouble and then banned on Twitch. It has to happen to finish me. This is too much damage from the mortar teams to actually fit in everything there. We'll do one hit on the base. I've still got spare mortar teams. Where do you want us? Where do you want us? Do you see something? Where do you want us? Let's get to the point. It's overkill. I'm all here now. Show us a Hello. Where do you want us? Let's 
Let's get to it. Hong Kong. Come on, Sheriff. On our way. I'm all geared up. Boards. Let's get we'll to it. We'll do it, Jeffy. I am here, mortal. What you got? Let's roll out. Sure, sir. Gotta go. Me too. Come on, Shorty. On our way. You made the right choice. You'd be lucky if you can town portal to that in time. Unless you started town portaling before it even happens. Cluster rockets are such a ridiculously short cooldown. Like, what is that all about? It's like six seconds or something, isn't it? Yeah. Flame strike's definitely a bit longer than that. You have to wait, um, I think at least 10 seconds before you can do a flame strike. So you're trying to gel them both together, and sometimes you have to hold off the cluster rockets. Oh my goodness. Come on, Shorter. On our way. Gotta go. Me too. Let's get to fight. Oh. <laughs> Civil War. Where do you want us? Move your arse. Mobile. Hello. These guys are smart. They stayed spread out. Me too. Come on, Shorty. Just want to see the cooldown on my flame strike. Hello. Move your arse. You made the right choice. You share it's a door. On. I'm all geared up. Yeah, I think it is 10 seconds. Do you see something? A okay, GG.